high-quality, well-managed infrastructure is a prerequisite for global economic stability and growth. It supplies energy and water to our homes and workplaces. It helps people and goods get from A to B, and it allows us to communicate freely in a global knowledge-based economy. But none of this comes cheap. In the US alone, the American Society of Civil Engineers estimates that $2.2 trillion needs to be invested over the next five years, and that's just to maintain current standards. Globally, the same amount is spent every year maintaining and improving the world's infrastructure assets, and this investment must double over the next two decades to tackle the challenges posed by urbanization, population growth, and climate change. However, many countries will struggle to fund this scale of investment. Not only are public budgets being squeezed by the global economic downturn, but for many years competing demands have led to chronic underinvestment in infrastructure. Many countries simply cannot afford to maintain their existing assets, let alone finance future infrastructure needs. So, how do we move forward? Andrew Price, Chief Economist at Halcro, has a view. The private sector will need to play a much bigger role in funding the increased level of infrastructure spending that we require to accelerate economic growth. And they will bring efficiency and innovation to project delivery. The challenge now is to increase the role of the private sector by developing new funding mechanisms. This will require strong political leadership, different approaches to risk management and global knowledge sharing. Halcrow's David Fawkes explains the role governments can play in stimulating private sector involvement. Governments everywhere are trying to balance an increasing demand for public services with an intractable deterioration in public finances. Flooding in our cities, failing power grids, creaking transport systems illustrate the incredible costs of inaction. Should we not adopt an integrated approach to infrastructure with secure sources of funding, we are consciously sacrificing our future economic prosperity. The outcome of infrastructure investments is always uncertain. However, sharing risk between the public and private sectors and striking a balance in allocating those risks is crucial for success. Governments need to better understand what risks the private sector will accept and under what conditions, and the private sector needs to better understand its potential exposure. Dominic Patella of Halcro can give us some insights. Notions of risk and return are at the heart of any public-private partnership. Um, but unfortunately, these concepts are often misunderstood. And that's probably because private finance is very complex, um, and so is infrastructure development. Really, the challenge for any public-private partnership is striking an optimal balance between risk and return. What you're aiming to do is to ensure bankability for private investment, whilst also ensuring that the, the project remains affordable to uh, customers and to government. The investment decisions we make today will determine our ability to grow and prosper in the future. But there's no one-size-fits-all approach to engage in the private sector. How can governments maintain investor confidence? How can we identify suitable projects for private investment? And what new funding mechanisms will allow us to share risks and give us the balance we're looking for? There are no easy answers. But working together, we can meet the challenges of today and improve the way we plan for tomorrow.